Tonight, Griffin Park is buzzing with anticipation. Can Brentford make up their two-goal first-leg deficit and come back to defeat Tottenham Hotspur in the second round of the Coca-Cola Cup? The Bees gave Tottenham quite a scare at White Hart Lane and deserved far better than the 3-1 defeat. For tonight's match, Ashley Bayes returns in goal for Jerry Payton as Everton will not allow Brentford to cup tie him. Bennett, Krasinski and Godfrey all had fitness tests today and none of them makes the starting lineup. The Bees give a debut to 22-year-old Channel Islander Grant Chalmers in midfield with Lee Luscombe so prominent in the first match replacing Mickey Bennett who joins Billy Manuel on the substitutes bench. Spurs come to Griffin Park low in confidence after three successive away defeats against Lazio in the Paul Gascoigne match, Sheffield Wednesday and a 4-1 mauling at Loftus Road against QPR on Saturday. They're also weakened by the absence of Gordon Jury and Jason Cundy tonight. And here we go. Bates looking for Marcus Gale. And Gale's won it. Up in the air by Steve Sedgley. First touch from Chalmers. And that's the throw to Brentford. Well, a bit of nonsense there. Maybe Luscombe just slipped. And the game starts with a throw to Tottenham. Anderson has scored. Well, what can you say about that? Two and a half minutes on the clock. And the ball laid back to Darren Anderson and he just buried it in the roof of the Brentford net. Ashley Bayes barely moved as the ball, until the ball had flashed past him. Well, I was saying that Darren Anderson hadn't broken his, his duck, but he has now. Paul Allen, found in hell. given a penalty or is it offside or we don't quite know what the referee's given but I think it's a penalty well Brian Hill waved play on as Nicky Barnby went over Ashley Bays and Teddy Sheringham could put this game well beyond Brentford now and does Bayes dived the wrong way. And this could be turning into a rout. That's a foul by Ruddock on Gary Blissett. And Brentford, who must be absolutely shell-shocked. Let's now get the chance to compose themselves. And, and that was a real chance. Gary Blissett, Tottenham dozing at that slit free kick. Simon Ratcliffe found him well. Rack and Blissett turned and hit it into the side net when really he should have scored. Barely 20 minutes gone. The score still Brentford nil, Tottenham Hotspur two. And Barnby, the architect of the second goal, forced to retire. Placed by young Andy Turner. Now, all eyes go to the other end. Luscombe. And it's in! It's Gary Blissett! On the near post, it's Gary Blissett. A lovely work free kick. Anderson. Showing him. Ball laid out by Turner. Allen. And Ashley Bayes nearly made a complete and utter nonsense of that. Well, that should have been number three. 
Sheringham running in and on the goal line, couldn't get the touch. Just wide from Blissett. Ball was flicked on. And huge cries from the crowd as Blissett strained and strained for that ball. But he could only head it wide. Chalmers. Just over. Great effort from the youngster. He really has impressed. He's now got himself into the game. And the referee gives handball. Smiley into Gale. Into Luscombe. And a fierce shot, but a yard over. Bates up well. Ratcliffe away. Blissett can control. And does. Tuttle did beautifully there. Under a lot of pressure from Simon Ratcliffe. And that's... A complete nonsense from Ashley Bayes. A young Andy Turner. It's made it 3-1. Anderson. And that's four. All alone, Teddy Sheringham. Where was the marking? Brentford torn apart. Well, it's gone in. I think it's Keith Millen. Well, Keith Millen seemed to take the ball in the net with him from the corner. Into injury time now. And over everybody. Millen. And there goes the whistle. Good game of football. Tottenham progress into the next round of the Coca-Cola Cup. And the final score from Griffin Park is Brentford 2, Tottenham Hotspur 4, with an aggregate score of 7 goals to 3.